Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the types of questions which are asked under plain sailing and also the correct way to approach them. So let's get started. So there are basically two types of questions asked in plain sailing. The first is when the initial position and the final position is given to you in the question and you need to find out the course and the distance deemed between them. The second type is that the initial position, the course and the distance between the initial and the final position is provided to you and you need to find out the latitude and longitude of the final position. So let us read this question. Find the course and distance from this position A to position B. So the initial and the final position are given to us in this question and what they are asking is the course and the distance. So as we have the initial and the final position with us, first we will find the D-lat, D-long and the M-lat between these two positions. So as these both points are in the same hemisphere and we are traveling from a greater north latitude to a lesser north latitude. That means that we are traveling in a direction south. So the DLAT will be the difference which is 5 degree 1 minute and the direction will be south. And we convert it into minutes. It will be 5 degree 1 minute multiplied by 60 which will be 301 minutes south. Right. Now we'll find the D long. The direction will be west as we are traveling westerly. Also converting D long into minutes. So 3 degree 32 minutes multiplied by 60 will be 2 1 2 minutes west. Now we'll find the M lat. The middle latitude of latitude 60 degree 11 minutes north and 55 degree 10 minutes north. Now both of these points lie in the same hemisphere. Therefore, their mean lat will be their arithmetic mean. So it will be 60 degree 11 minutes plus 55 degree 10 minutes divided by 2. So that comes out to be 57 degree 40.5 minutes north. The direction will be north because both of these points are in the northern hemisphere. Now we have taken out the D-lat, the D-long and the M-lat. Now please look at this formula. We have the M-lat with us. We have D-long with us. Now we can take out departure, right? We will apply this formula now. Cos of M-lat is equal to departure upon so departure will be equal to d long into cos of m lat now always remember that d lat and d long will be kept in miles or minutes in all of these formulas so d long will be 212 into cos of m lat now m lat we'll keep it in degrees because this m lat is with the trigonometric function here so 57 degree 40.5 minutes this comes out to be 113.4 minutes and the direction of departure is always the same as to the direction of d long so departure will all also be westerly so as i told you once we have the dlat and departure with us now we can proceed to draw our plane sailing triangle now for drawing the plane sailing triangle first we take our initial position a now we see that the dlat is south right so we draw a dlat south so once we are done with the dlat with the tail end of DLAT, we'll draw the departure. In this case, the departure is west. So, we'll draw it west. 
now this is our final position b this is a right angle between the dlat and departure now we will connect our initial position to our final position this is the distance and as we know the angle between dlat and distance is the quadrantal course so as we have drawn our plane sailing triangle now what we have to find is the course and the distance so let us look at the formulas now for finding out the course we can use this formula tan course is equal to departure upon dlat because departure is known to us and as well as dlat is also known to us so we'll use this formula now we have the course and remember this is the quadrantal course so how will we name it first we'll write this course 20 degree 38.6 minutes before this quadrantal course will come the direction of dlat which is south after this quadrantal course will come the direction of departure which is west so this is our quadrantal course now next thing is we need to find the distance now we can use this formula to find the distance we have the course with us we have the departure with us what we need to find is the distance now now we are keeping course in degrees because this is with the trigonometric function now after calculating on the calci this comes out to be 3 to 1.7 so now we'll write the answer statement the course is south 20 degree 38.6 minutes west now this course is in quadrantal form in the answer statement we'll write the quadrantal form of the course as well and the true course as well so let's quickly convert it into true course so as you can see that this will lie in the southwest quadrant so this will be 20 degree from the south towards the west somewhere here right so this will be 180 plus 20 degree 38.6 minutes which comes out to be 200 degree 38.6 minutes true so in the answer statement i suggest you to answer the course in the quadrantal form as well as in the true form now the distance that we have already taken out is 321.7 nautical miles right so now let's take up the second type of question let's read out what this question says your ship is on this latitude longitude the initial position is given sailed on course 032 degree true for 238 nautical miles find b the position arrived so first let us convert this true course into quadrantal course now 032 will be somewhere here right so from north this is 32 degrees towards the east so therefore the quadrantal notation will be north 32 degrees towards the east and why we converted this into quadrantal course i already told you that this is always the direction of dlat and this is always the direction of departure so now we have the direction of dlat as well as the direction of departure with this information we can draw the plane sailing triangle now let us say that this is our initial position a and first we'll draw a dlat north now after drawing this dlat north the next thing that we draw is departure now departure is east so we'll draw a departure east now this is our final position we'll connect our initial and final position now this will be the distance between our initial and final position this you already know is a right angle and the angle between the dlat 
and distance is our quadrantal course. So we have our initial position with us, the course with us and the distance with us. What we need to find out is the latitude and longitude of our final position. So to find these latitude and longitude of the final position, what we need to find out is the DLAT and the DLONG between these two positions, right? So first for finding the DLAT, let us see which formula we can use. We can use this formula. Cos course is equal to DLAT upon distance. We have the distance with us. We have the course with us. So the DLAT can be found out. Now the latitude of initial position is 20 degree 11 minutes north. Our DLAT that we found out is 3 degree 21.8 minutes north. So the latitude of our final position arrived will be 23 degrees 32.8 minutes north right now we have found out the latitude of our final position b now as we have the latitude of initial position as we have the latitude of final position we can find out the mean lag between these two points right so the mean lat between latitude a and latitude b will be the arithmetic mean of both these latitudes so this will be 20 degree 11 minutes plus 23 degree 32.8 minutes divided by 2 so after calculating it in calci this comes out to be 21 degree 51.9 minutes and as these both are in the northern hemisphere, that, that, that means MLAT will also be north. We have already found out the latitude of our final position B. Now what we need to find out is the longitude of our final position B. So for finding out the longitude, first we need to find out the D-long. And let us see if we use this formula. Cos of MLAT, we have MLAT with us is equal to departure upon d long so now we don't have the departure with us right so we need to first find out the departure so let's see which formula we can use for finding out the departure now look at this formula sine of course is equal to departure upon distance we already have the distance with us we have the course with us given in the question we can find out the departure now and once we find out departure Later, we'll move on to this formula and find out D-long. So, sine of course is equal to departure upon distance. Also, departure is equal to distance into sine course. Distance is 238. We'll keep it in nautical miles as I told you. And sine of course course is quadrantal course is 32 degrees we we'll keep it in degrees so this comes out to be 126.1 minutes east so now let's look at this formula we have the mlat with us we have the departure with us now we can find the delong The direction of D-long is same as the direction of departure. The direction of departure is east. So the direction of D-long will also be east. Now this is in minutes. Converting it into degrees or dividing it by 60. It will be 2 degree 15.8 minutes east. Now longitude 
of our position A is 072 degrees 52 minute west. We have the D long with us now. The D long is 002 degree 15.8 minute east. As the D long is east, so it will be 70 degree 36.2 minute west. Now we will write the answer statement. Latitude was 23 degree 32.8 minutes north. We already took this out and the longitude of B is 70 degree 36.2 minute west. So this is what was asked in the question the latitude and longitude of our final position, right? I hope it is very clear to you now. Please like this video, share it with your friends and do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss a new informative video from our channel.